I'm going to show you a couple of different ways of doing drop shadows using Flash CS3. We're going to use a filter, and specifically the drop uh, shadow filter. So uh, what you need to do is make sure that your animation or whatever object you want to apply a drop shadow to is a movie clip symbol. Here I'm going to double click my movie clip just to show you that it is an uh, animated character. And going back to my main stage here in scene one, um, there's two ways to do this. The first way I'm going to show you is click on the filter tab. Let's undock it for a bit. And using the plus sign, select drop shadow. And of course it gives us a nice little drop shadow. Let's minimize a few things here. And what you can do is adjust the amount of um, alpha strength and the amount of blur that you want. You can adjust the angle and even the distance as well as the color. and the quality. So when we test our movie, you'll see he's got a nice soft little uh, drop shadow to him with a slight bluish tint. And that's kind of fun. But it's a little flat. It looks like he's up against a flat surface, um, almost like a paper cutout effect, which uh, is fine. It's kind of cool, but not what we want because let's say, let's r remove it by clicking the uh, minus sign here. What I want to do is have a, a drop shadow that has a little bit more depth and perspective to it. So let's select him and copy him. Now I want to create a new layer. And after I create it, I'm going to click and drag it below the original layer. And I'm going to do a paste in place, which is Control Shift V. All right. So now you can see that on my original layer, is my character symbol. I'm going to convert them to outlines just to show you that, or, or just let's turn them off completely just to show you that he also exists in the same exact position in the bottom layer as well. So now what I want to do is grab the free transform tool which is already selected. Let's move this over a bit. And I want to edit the center point down at the bottom. I want to hinge at the bottom here and the reason I want to do this is because I want to uh, still using the free transform tool let's scale him down a bit like this and now let's hover outside in between uh, outside the free transform box and in between these two points here or handles um, so our cursor changes to this and then we can skew by clicking and dragging and you can tweak the amount of skewing and scaling and that's about right so now this time around let's go ahead and add the drop shadow filter once again uh, but here's the trick what you want to do is select hide object that hides the original symbol so that all we see is the filtered effect let's drop down our opacity this is uh, particularly useful if you have a uh, complex background let's say so that you can see through the shadow to the background itself let's adjust a little bit more blur here I think medium will do or low depending um, everything else looks fine so let's test our movie and now you can see we have uh, a nice drop shadow that uh, adds a little bit of depth if anything, I think uh, in this particular case, there's just a little too much blur. So let's bring that back a little bit. In fact, you can remove uh, all the blur, see what that looks like. And not bad, except for the alignment. So there's a lot of tweaking. Let's try it again, test the movie. Now we have uh, what uh, is a much sharper, more contrasty uh, drop shadow to uh, suggest a stronger light source, perhaps. So um, we can also go back in and change the color. So uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of things you can do with the drop shadow filter, and uh, hopefully this will help your animations and uh, provide a little bit more depth and, and perspective to them.